Snipe, Snipe, Snipe Squad, what's going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Joan Jones, and we are back with another unboxing, man. Shouts out to everybody coming through, as always. Today, today's video, as y'all can see, is a little bit different. Now, today we have an unboxing that I have been waiting for for a very, very long time. And without further ado, hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in to the channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I don't know if you know what it looks like, but it's that little red box at the bottom. It kind of looks like this. Hit that subscribe button, man. Make sure you do that, man. We're grinding, trying to hit 100K before the end of the year. That is right, 100,000 of them things, and we need your participation. For that to happen, man, I cannot do it without y'all. I can't. That's on dog. Guys, I am super excited when it comes to today's unboxing. Y'all know I do a lot of unboxings on this channel, but it's only a few that gets me going. You know what I'm saying? Only a few that have your boy Joan Joan. You know, I'm, I'm ready for this one. I'm ready. Now, I know a lot of people going to cheat and everybody not going to do it the right way, but I'm going to still give y'all a fair chance to guess which shoe this is in the box. Now, 90% of y'all or about 80% of y'all are going to wait to the end and just say what it was, but... Fair chance. Go ahead and guess what's in the box before I even open it up. Alright, cool. So y'all done cheating? We can get on with the video. So today's pair of sneakers is brought to me once again by the big homie, big bro, Unbreakable Kicks, man. Thank you for looking out for me on this pair of shoes. Now, as of late, there has been a lot of heat coming out, so it's kind of hard to put your finger on it. A lot of you guys might be thinking it's one thing, and a lot of you guys might think it's another. All-Star Weekend is right around the corner. It is Wednesday, almost Thursday, almost the Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? So if you got a little, yeah, right. We all know that Valentine's Day is always surrounded by All-Star Weekend, so it's so much heat dropping. Man, it's, it's going to be hard, man. Now, the Blue Chill ones or the UNC Patent Blue ones have been pushed back to the release date of the 21st, and that's tough, man. I was actually really looking forward to picking up those tomorrow. I guess, you know, your boy got to wait another week. So, shouts out to whoever had those earlier than Thursday because now you got them like two weeks early. So, now they're super, super limited. But this is an early pair of sneakers brought to me by the homie Unbreakable, and I really appreciate that because this shoe has sentimental value. There you have it. There you have it. That's the only... That's that's the only hint I can give you, and I might have just gave away the shoe, because if you watch the video, if you watch the channel on a consistent level, you probably already know what these is, just about me saying that. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh my goodness, how did I almost forget to say this? If you have not already followed me on Instagram and Twitter, it will be linked down below in the description of the video, but more importantly, it's running through your screen right now, man. Go over to IG. Please, man, let's help me get to a 15K, man. But anyways, man, I do post some dope pics on IG. I try my best to do giveaways on my story as well. So go ahead and give me a follow if you're not already following me. And now I'm going to just shut up talking because I know a lot of y'all like, bro, just get to the freaking shoe. Aya! Here we have it, man. Big package. Pause. You know what I'm saying? But yes, this is the sneaker that we will be unboxing today. And like I told y'all earlier, I am super, super excited. Let's see what's up in here. Wonder what's inside. I uh, don't need that box no more because, you know what I'm saying, we don't need that. All right, guys, here you have it, that iconic Nike box with the red and white. Now, 95% of y'all know exactly what these are. I told y'all they early. It's only one thing coming in a box like this around this time. What kills me is, bro, I've been waiting for this shoe for so long. I actually tried to get it when it first dropped. I even dropped a How to Cop video. Not a How to Cop video, but just basically talking about this sneaker in particular and how excited I was to actually get it. I thought me getting this shoe early would be like super dope. I thought it would have y'all going crazy because I know this particular sneaker for me, I know my audience, they love this particular sneaker. But bro, I'm looking around and I see every YouTuber with these early. And even though I'm super happy to have them early and I'm still super excited just to have them, even if I would have got them on a release date, I still would have been happy. But I've never seen a shoe get out so fast. Like, I just didn't know that people was going to have access like that. Even though Unbreakable hooked me up with these, man, so many people hit me up like, yo, Snipe. Do you want them? Do you want them? Even you guys, a lot of my subscribers hit me up in the DM saying that you could help me out get these early. So I don't know how they were let go, but obviously, man, it really wasn't too hard to get them out. I'm hearing it was limited amount of pairs, but I don't know how true that is anymore. Just to see how many videos are already up about this shoe. It is crazy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Bow. Here we have it, man. The Nike Rookie Galaxy Phone posit, man. This is my favorite 
release of the year so far. Now, I know the Travis Scott ones did a surprise drop, and you can kind of count that as a release, but bruh, man, look at these for one second. Y'all know I am a huge Phone Posit fan. I am a huge Penny fan, and I love the silhouette. And I was super excited when I figured out these were coming out. That's why I said I kind of maybe gave it away a little bit in the beginning of the video when I said I was looking forward to it, and I was super excited. But I am so happy that Nike decided to release this Galaxy Rookie once again. For my people who don't know, Nike did release this in 2012. And in my opinion, I honestly did not like the, the design. I didn't like the graphic print that was on the first pair. This second pair is so much better to me. One of the dopest parts about the sneaker that they decided to continue was the glow in the dark soles. The reason why I say that is because not too long ago, actually a few weeks ago, I acquired the alternate Galaxy phone posit from SneakerCon for Lauderdale. And we all know that that sneaker is notorious because they decided to switch out the soles, not give us the glow in the dark soul, and give us just an all blacked out soul, which kind of changed up the whole Galaxy vibe just a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So here we have the Galaxy Foam Posit colorway. As y'all can see, it's still a dope sneaker to me. Of course, I'm a foam head, so I'm gonna have it in the collection. But the problem to a lot of people, bam, right there, man, that blacked out foam posit. So a lot of people was not happy about it not being that glow in the dark that we all know and love whenever it comes to any Galaxy release. You can go to the Big Bang LeBron 9, which was a Galaxy release. You can go to the Galaxy Kobe, which is another Galaxy release. Even the Galaxy KD4s, they all glow in the dark. So when it came to this phone posit one Galaxy colorway, you can tell why a lot of people was very, very mad that that shoe in particular did not have anything glowing in the dark. Me personally, it really didn't matter to me as much. Yes, it would have been a great touch, but at the end of the day, that sneaker is still fire to me. Also, a quick little messenger, man, that is honestly the most money I've ever paid for a sneaker. Believe it or not, all of this stuff you see behind me, Retail shorty, I ain't gonna hold you. Hey, your boy Jones Jones ain't dropping that bag. That's on dog, you heard? And on top of that, I just don't have it like that to be dropping cash. Anyways, guys, this Galaxy Rookie model is super dope. I had probably like four, three to four pairs of rookies in my collection at one point in time, but I had to sell them, man. Times was getting tough, and y'all know when times get tough, man, them sneakers gotta go. So I did wind up selling a lot. Now, this pair in particular, it means a lot to me, man, because I've never thought... I would own a Galaxy, you know what I'm saying? A Galaxy Rookie, a Galaxy Phone Posit. It was just always one of them sneakers growing up where I'm from, it's like, man, that's a lot of money. Like the first pairs before this release, man, they would be in resold for a lot of bread. So just to have them in hand kind of like puts things in perspective just a little bit. But everybody know one of the dopest qualities of any Galaxy Phone Posit or Galaxy Penny release is Bayou, that removal before flight flag that's hanging off the sneaker. This has always been dope to me, man. It's always a special dope touch whenever they decide to throw this on there, man. I told y'all in my last previous video, this little hang tag here is no, no different than the actual zip tie on the off-white. It's like that extra piece that just makes it over the top and makes the sneaker even more desirable. I honestly think that the price should even go down if people are selling pairs that does not have this tag on. So yes, me, I will be keeping the tag on, but however, I'm taking it off the back heel tab of the shoe and i just probably put it right here on the tongue like they do the galaxy phone posits but i ain't gonna hold you i kind of do like this look it look like it got a little cape on it or something like that all right all right i'm childish whatever put it in the comment section anyways guys i am super excited about this pickup man this is my newest pickup the newest welcoming in the collection the penny collection that i pride myself on there's not too many guys out here who actually like our pennies and look it's gonna be a lot of guys that's copping this and don't like foams it's gonna be a lot of guys copping this that don't like pennies it doesn't bother me at all man if you like the sneaker go out and get it i'm just here to say man i've been rocking with the phone posit i've been rocking with penny for a long time i don't even know if y'all can see all of my sneakers here but i have a lot of pennies man whether it's penny ones i got twos over there half cents I got rookies. So stay tuned, guys. I will be doing an on foot in a review tomorrow. The only reason why I'm not doing that now, it's raining outside, and I am not going outside in those in the rain. I'm sorry. I definitely will have that review posted tomorrow, man, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel because your boy, Joan Jones, I got something for you. I ain't gonna hold you. And y'all know I cannot leave without saying, everybody wanna be famous, but who really put in that work, though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 
my god, bro. That's definitely gonna be on deleted scenes. Ah, <sighs> man, that video was extra long. If anybody's still in here, man, these are what I call the Marvel credits. What shoe do y'all think is better? I honestly don't even know why Unbreakable just didn't body you for me. You know he got it. Yo, Penny, we need to talk, man. We need to talk. I know for a fact I can get the phones back popping. If any Nike rap see this, man, ain't no Nike raps gonna see this. If any Nike rap see this, I can make it happen. DM me. Email me. It's all down below. This has to be, like, one of the dopest unboxing knives of all time. Shout out to the homie who gave me this, bro. This is crazy. See, a lot of y'all ain't even recognize what type of shirt I'm wearing. You know what I'm saying? Count your penny. See, I was actually prepared for this video. Y'all sleep. <sighs> Drinking too much water. Gotta go to the bathroom.